My next guest is not big on the stock market and is also now very bearish on government bonds. So what does Jim Rogers like right now? Jim joins me now to talk investment plays here. Also has a new book out called Street Smarts. Jim, good to have you on the program. I'm delighted to be here. But you know, Murray, you were talking before. It's all artificial what's going on right yeah. now. The Federal Reserve is printing money as fast as they can. But the Bank of Japan said, we're going to print unlimited money. And so you know what the Federal Reserve said? We'll match you. We'll print money, too. I mean, this is insane. I mean, you've got central bankers all over the globe printing money. Yes, the Europeans are saying, we'll buy as many bonds as we have to. That, you think this is a sound economy? Well, I know that you don't like stocks, but do you really want to fight the Fed here and fight every major central banker out there? I'm, I'm shorting bonds. I'm short government bonds, and I've shorted bonds two or three times and been stopped out. I'm actually making money at the moment, which surprises me, but I'm making money on my bond shorts. Maybe it's the end of the 32-year bull market. If it is, I'll make a lot of money in bonds. Stocks may go up, too, but... I don't see how this can last too long. I expect after the German election, you know, there's a lot of good news coming out of Europe this, this year because Mrs. Merkel wants to win. But after the German election, where's the good news coming from? Well, you think Europe becomes another problem? Of course, Europe's not finished. Yeah. It's, Mrs. Merkel is going to say it's finished. For some reason, it's not on the front pages anymore, and I'm just wondering if that's There's just... an election in Germany. Yeah. Germany's the largest. Germany runs Europe. She's got to win her election. Right. She knows that. And there's also an election in Italy, and then you've got uh, uh, bonds uh, coming due, debt due, interest payments due in Spain. So you do have some catalysts on, uh, on, on you, Europe, I yeah, agree There are going to be more problems coming down the road, but at the moment, they've got good news from Mrs. Merkel. So in terms of the stock market, I mean, we've had a rip-roaring 2013, the beginning of the yeah, year yeah. for sure, and a rip-roaring end of the year. What's behind it other than the Fed then? You don't think the there's And the Bank of Japan. Wait a minute. The Bank of Japan has said, we'll print even more money than the Fed. They said, he said, unlimited, unlimited amounts of money. That's a lot of money. So would you buy, you, you buy no stocks here? Given I own Japanese stocks. I'm buying Russia. You're buying Russia. Russia's terribly depressed. Nobody likes Russia. Nobody. I'm buying, you think I'm buying the bonds. I'm buying the bonds, the currency, and stocks. You think you'll be able to get your money out of Russia when you want to? I, I wouldn't be. Maria, what, I've been, hold on, hold on. I've been what's bearish. Hold on, let me tell you. I've been bearish on Russia for 46 years. Right. I first went there in 1966. I've changed my mind. And yes, I think I'll be able. I'm not going to give my money to Putin. No. I hope. Right. I hope. Really? Uh, no, I, I, for the first time in 46 years, have decided to invest in Russia. So you believe there's a rule of law there? You believe that this is, I mean, you're, you're buying Russia over the See, United everybody, States everybody is pessimistic. Yeah, listen to your questions. Everybody is pessimistic on Russia. Russia is changing. That's how you make money. You find something that everybody hates, including me, including you, when it's changing, and that's how you make money. Everybody hates Apple right now. Would you buy it? No, no, I'm short Apple. You're short Apple. I've been short Apple. Yeah, how come? Because I mean, it's just short in the fall because it went through the roof and everybody loved you're it. Sure yeah. it's 700. Uh, September. Uh, That's it's fantastic. It doesn't matter what price. Uh, listen, I, sometimes even I get it right. Yeah, sometimes. right. You've been getting it uh, right for years. So, but anyway, no, I, I wouldn't buy Apple. I may, I may have to cover my short, but uh, no, I, I'm not. That's that's. It was a sidelights for me. What about the banks? Uh, where, are, where do you stand on the banks at this point? I mean, they've they've made people lots of money over the last year. So they have. They haven't made me any money over the last oh, year. Are you negative I mean, I, on the banks? No, I'm sure. J.P. Morgan calls. I made them. They made. They all expired worthless. I'm still short a few, and they're not expiring worthless. So okay. I may lose money on that. But I have not made any money other than shorting J.P. Morgan calls. I've made no money in banks. And and any other areas? I mean, the economically sensitive names has also become a leadership group here in the U.S. Well, I said Japan. I mean, that's a pretty big market. I said Russia. That's a yeah. pretty big market. I'm not buying anything in the United. I'm short bonds in the agriculture. But we talked about agriculture before. I want to talk about agriculture in a second. But let's go back to Japan for a minute because Japan has been on fire. You've got the government there also creating all of this stimulus. Um, is, is that going to end badly as well? No, J Japan, you know, is down 75 percent. 75 percent. But in the last couple of months, what is it up? Oh, no, 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 that's no, called, no, it's gone through the roof. Thank you. Um, thank you, Japan. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Look at that Nikkei average. No, I know, I know. I don't have to show it to me. I know what it's been doing. No, uh, Japan is going to, they're going to continue to print money. It's not good for the world. It's making markets go up. But in the meantime, I'm participating. Uh, you know, the yen is collapsing in, in Japan, but the stock market's going through the roof. But if, you, but if they're printing all this money in Japan, and you're positive on it, but they're printing all this money in the U.S. and you're negative on it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The American stock market's at an all-time high. The Japanese stock market's 75% okay. below its all-time yeah, high. Maria, I there. know your mama taught you to buy low and sell high. <laughs> I'm saying to you, it's down 75%. Mm -hmm. The trade with China's booming. 
I had rather buy. I hope I'm buying low and selling high. Yeah, yeah. And so, how long do you think this lasts in jo in Japan? I mean, there's a lot of momentum I, I, going on there. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. There's a lot of momentum, and I'm not very good at trading, yeah. short-term trading. But why couldn't it? Why couldn't it double? Why couldn't it go to twenty thousand if it prints a lot of money? Now the yen may collapse, but the stock market could go to twenty thousand because of the valuation that we're talking about. Yeah, because he's printing money, and the yeah. money he said unlimited. When you throw a lot of money out the window, Maria, somebody catches some of it. Yep, yep. I mean, you know, there's the, the, the wisdom tree has a whole uh, ETF, which is, is it called an ETF? Yes, which, which, yes. which is, which is a uh, DXJ. Yeah, which is a. Uh, um, Neutral on the currency. Yeah, yeah. That's a great way to play Japan. Yeah, they hedge out the currency. Let, let me ask you about uh, about rates in this country because some people worry that in fact we're going to see once rates start creeping up, we're going to see a, 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 you know fast and furious. Is that what you would expect? I hope so. I'm short bonds. Yeah, I'm short the so thirty year bond. It's a thirty year yeah, bond. Yeah, but when would that happen, Jim? Come on, this year, next year. Well, I don't expect it to spike this year unless something strange happens and we go to war with Iran. Yeah, it'll spike up. But it can continue to creep up. I'm not good at market timing. I'm short bonds and I hope they spike up the, bond, the interest rates. What, but I'm, what about commodities, Jim? I mean, you've been oh, so yeah. right on this space for so I many own, years. I, I know you agriculture. love agriculture still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would rather buy, I own agriculture. I buy agriculture. But how, how do you participate that as an, in, 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 as an investor in agriculture? You do, you do an ETF? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. I do the Rogers. I have a, some ETFs which trade on the New York Stock Exchange. Marie, I'm not here to talk about ETFs. I'm here to talk about. I'm here to sell books. Yeah. <laughs> For goodness <laughs> sake. Well, give me the street smarts. Give me the street smarts. Yeah, it's all in the book. Street smarts. What's so smart about uh, the street today? Uh, the today? Yeah. Like I told what you. What are the smart. street smarts from Jim Rogers right now? I tell now. you, sell bonds, short government, short United, long-term United States government bonds right now. Well, right now. Well, right now. Uh huh. And that's what I, that's probably my main U.S. investment. The other, than, I'm on the loan of the dollar. And but other than that, everybody's criticizing the Federal Reserve for all this stimulus. How does this end? Why aren't you criticizing the Federal well, Reserve? Because you you're on, on TV. And you do you it. I mean, I'm trying to take the other side of every argument and I know be neutral you here. You know. Well, no, it's outrageous what they're doing. They're pr you know, Bernanke was already printing lots of money. He doesn't understand economics. He doesn't understand finance. He doesn't understand currencies. All he understands is printing money. You know, you read his st studies of the of the depression. No, no mention of debt. No mention of foreign trade. No mention of currencies. He doesn't know anything about what's going on in the world. He just understands printing money. Well, we don't have the leaders in Washington, the presidents and Congress either. You think they do? Yeah, exactly. Really bad for my nervous system. Yeah, they, oh my all right, gosh. Let me, I want to talk about your book for a second. The, the, the book is Street Smart. Now, your quantum fund with George Soros back in 1973 delivered a 4,200% return over 10 years. You said it's still possible. How do you well, do it? I said it's still, not for me. I'm not working that hard. Well, you know, if you work really hard and you find somebody who's driven and ambitious and that's all they want to do and they use a lot of leverage, we use huge amounts of leverage, yeah, it can be done. Am I, can I do it? Huh. Not in a million years. I'm doing other things. But if you find the right people, of course it can be done. Why not? And you talk about that in the book. Yeah, of course I do. You mentioned Russia. You know, I'm hearing a lot about Mexico. What's the take? Well, the problem with Russia, Mexico is the oil is drying up. The oil is running out. Yeah, they've had a wonderful time. They got a young, but they have a young population, and the oil, the Mexican oil, is drying up. That's how the government gets something like 40 percent of its money from oil. Right. But it's drying up. Here in the last days, maybe they're going to spend a lot, and things are going to look great. But I wouldn't put your money in Mexico, <laughs> much less mine. My money. Oh God, you wouldn't put my money. All right. So the best, single best opportunity from Jim Rogers' eyes right now is what? Forget about the bond market for a second. Oh, I'm not smart. If whatever I tell you is going to be wrong, I guess I'd say Russia. I mean, I guess I'd have to say Russia is right now. Why is Russia bonds. so intriguing to you? It's, it's a disaster. Nobody likes Russia. Do you know anybody who can even spell Russia? You know, most <laughs> people can't stand Russia. You know, they can't stand Putin. Putin's changing, though. If I'm right, Putin's changing, and that's where you're going to... Well, Myanmar, we've talked about Myanmar. The best new thing is probably Russia. All right. Well, or North Korea, but North not, Korea. let's not waste our time. North on. Korea? Yeah, it's fabulous. But the only way to invest is to buy stamps or the coins. And your viewers are not going to go out and buy North Korean gold and silver coins. But that's a fabulous, fabulous opportunity. Would you buy gold right here at, no. the, at the levels that they're at? Absolutely not. I own gold, but I wouldn't buy it here. I'm not selling but I wouldn't buy unless I were buying North Korean gold coins. <laughs> All right, Jim, great to talk with you as always. Likewise. Jim Thank Rogers you. joining us. His new book?